afternoon, Amherst. Yeah. Nice to be with you. I apologize for being late. I'm usually on time, right? <laughs> I'm delighted to be with you all today. Most especially want to acknowledge uh, the uh, Senate President in waiting. May I call you that name? Just an incredible, incredible partner and a very, very exciting development in the State House. Um, almost tempting enough to make me reconsider running. <laughs> For, uh, for eight years, we have pursued a strategy of investing in ourselves, investing in education, in innovation, and infrastructure as a strategy to create platforms for private sector and personal development. That strategy is the, why, is the reason why Massachusetts has become a global economic leader. Uh, we are growing faster than the national growth rate, nearly twice as fast, in fact. We're at a 25-year high in employment. We're first in the nation in student achievement and health care coverage and economic competitiveness, entrepreneurial activity, energy efficiency, veteran services, and much, much more. We're rebuilding our roads, rails. We're rebuilding our roads, rails, our bridges, and housing stock, and we're doing it responsibly uh, by balancing our budgets and achieving the highest bond rating in the Commonwealth history. And I want to stop right here because I often get the applause lines, but it's a partnership that makes this possible. And I want to acknowledge Stan Rosenberg and the members of the legislature who have made it possible for us. In the spirit of that strategy, I'm pleased to announce uh, the next or latest round of MassWorks Awards. MassWorks is an initiative we started a couple of years ago. Uh, now it's managed by Eric Nakajima, who's here from our Office of Housing and Economic Development. Eric, we thank you for your service. And it is a straight, yes indeed, let's give it a hand. A series of modest, mainly infrastructure investments that catalyze private uh, investment. And today I'm announcing the latest round, some $67 million for 31 projects across 28 communities, including one right here in Amherst. Here in Amherst, we're doing $1.5 million through the infrastructure program for the North Downtown Improvement Project. That uh, uh, improvement will serve as a catalyst for local investment. Apparently, it's already served. <laughs> Just the mere thought that it was coming has started. It supports existing businesses along this very busy commercial corridor and fosters new re retail and housing growth in the district. Congratulations, John. And I know that you and your colleagues will make the most, and are making the most of it. I want to mention, yes, Steve. I want to mention that 45% of the funded infrastructure projects will support construction of multifamily homes in mixed-use districts. We expect that these awards alone will result in over 2,000 new multifamily units across the Commonwealth, and we need that housing to keep our growth going. So congratulations to Amherst, to all of the successful communities, and again, thanks to the, uh, to the leader uh, and future Senate, Senate President, to all of your colleagues for being such a great partner in this program. Thanks for having me.